una persona había Did yeah, you say that one? Five. It says it's live on my part. Okay. Um, let me close out the window. Okay. Uh, where are you at here? Sorry, guys. This is the first time I'm doing this. Oh, I'm not not the first time, but like one of the first times going live on Zoom from YouTube. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another. Uh, not why did I say that? Not Zoom, Zoom from phone. Phone. Sorry, because I was having computer issues. I have with me Anthony Zender. He's an SSP experiencer, and he's actually a fighter as well, too. So um, I'm really excited to talk to him about Disclosure. He's done a lot of other shows. So, you know, I'll give him a big warm welcome and thank him for taking his time to come on the show. Anthony, uh, thank you for coming on. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, Robert. Um, yeah, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I definitely found out about you uh, through, you know, because I'm always uh, – researching you know in the community and like who's doing shows and stuff like that and uh, i came upon your show and uh you've been doing a lot of like uh good work you know what i'm saying um with with the disclosure and uh the guests that you have and the amount of uh you know information that you have so i i i definitely uh thought i i should get in touch and we we should talk about um you know the secret space program and disclosure and uh you know what what i'm uh coming forward with being a my lab super soldier in the secret space program because i have my whole story you know um it's actually not a story it's a revelation um you know it's it's uh and i can you know get into into all of that that sounds good just a little disclaimer for all the fans out there tonight and anthony because you seem like a really cool person I smoked pot tonight. That's because I didn't. Because remember, we, or we didn't meet right away, so I, <laughs> I didn't think the podcast was going to happen. So I smoked pot, and that's why I'm like, well, Anthony might think there's something a little bit off about me. So I was hey, like, I'm going okay, to uh, uh, I'm gonna be honest too. So did I. So I'm not even going to hold that back. Wow, so. you hold your shit together really good, man. You're you're like really you come off really intelligent on on weed. So that's like that's a good thing. Yeah. That that has to do with a lot of meditation uh, over the years and discipline. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. uh that that shows through over the years, um, which which comes in the martial arts training, um, in the meditation uh practices that I do, which is part of the uh ascension process that I'm practicing and experiencing. Um, so um that's part of me being uh, a super soldier. And um I can just, you know, uh, get into that, um, you know, um, my, my story about, about, um, me coming to understanding, uh, this about being a my lab super soldier. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously I'll start off at the beginning. Uh, you know, uh, I was born, uh, in 1985 and, um, I, you know, obviously I've, I've learned all about this, uh, now, but um, I, I'm a star seed. I came in as a star seed, and uh, I'm actually Arcturian origin. Um, you know, I can get into how I know that later uh, with experiences that I've had, but I, I'll, I'll keep that aside for now. Um, but um, I came in as as an Arcturian star seed, and um, you know, as a kid, I was uh, definitely talented, uh, definitely like a standout, had talents, abilities. Um, you know, I was uh, the lead in the school play. I was getting, um, you know, uh, solos and choir concerts, you know, um, achieving things athletically, you know, getting presidential physical fitness awards um, as a young child. So I was, uh, you know, talented. And um, that is actually what uh, gets you targeted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for um, the, the programs is, um, the talent and, uh, gifted, the, um, talented and gifted program, right? Right. That is true. That, yeah, that is right. And it's actually also referred to as the tie wrap program, which is, wow. uh, the targeted individual research advanced project, which is actually run by the NSA and DARPA. And, wow, I didn't know that. So it's a it's a targeted individual program for young adult for like young people 
that they want to form into fully fledged targeted individuals because they're testing this out on the public before they take it mainstream. Is that kind of the theory behind it or there's, there is a uh, more to it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, you kind of have the, the gist of it. Um, the, the targeted individuals are part of this program, um, the tie wrap program, which this information is coming from the ACIO database. You know, that's why you've never heard of it, because it's actually coming from the ACIO's database. So um, this uh, program, you know, is um, made to um, target um, individuals that are um, talented, gifted, have uh, have telepathic abilities, uh, psychic uh, psychic abilities. Um, You know, that that's just where it starts is the psychic ability is targeted. And um, as as a um, as a child, you know, um, I am extremely psychic because uh, I mean, I'm I'm like my sun and moon sign are are both Pisces, and Pisces are actually known to be the most psychic. And um, so my psychic ability is 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 high, and that actually has to do with uh, development of it in past lives, you know, um, that I actually remember. Because um, um, I, I'm remembering past lives. Uh, I, I, I have been ever since I was a child. Like that's where it begins um, is I came in remembering past lives. And even on other civilizations in, in the universe, like uh, uh, in, in, their, their, in, in, their, in their civilization, people are coming in remembering who they are. Um, here, here, that's not happening because of the system that we're in. Um, but Can I tell you something. That's yeah. one of the things that I've been like talking about to my audience lately. I was like, if I have to leave here, like, because I have it, I was having health issues. But then I was like, you know, like if whenever it happens, if it happens when I'm younger, older, whenever, I don't want to have to go through losing all my memories because I feel like I've worked so hard in this life to learn everything I've learned and all through all the deception and all the knowledge I've learned and stuff you know, it's, uh, it would be a shame to lose it all and have to start all over again, again, you know, that's, that's a good realization to remember because, um, uh, you know, remembering things like reincarnation, uh, you start to remember what happens on the other side. And, um, so what, what happens though, is like, we, we come in and, and certain people drink of the river of forgetfulness more than others. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to, they're not ready to remember um, everything. So um, because we, we come back uh, to this plane for unfinished business, something that it was not finished in the last life, because reincarnation is definitely a truth. I've, I've definitely found that out, understood that and have experiences um, because I do remember uh, past life. Actually, right now I'm getting a ringing in my ear. Uh, because this is uh, this is part of uh, my targeting. Because uh, when I when I start speaking a lot of truth, I get I get hit by directed energy weapons. Uh, being being part of the the TIRAP program because um, uh, people that are in the program are national security risks uh, because they can um, give out information um, that can that can change things. So. Um, if I get if I get hit with a directed energy weapon, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. But uh, you have to yeah, shit out, it's it, it, it's it's part of being it's yeah it's it's a real part of being a targeted individual and uh, part of being in the secret space program is you get you get hit with directed energy weapons. You hear tones in your ears and stuff. That's because you are always being watched 24 seven, 365. That's part of the program. I'm being watched right now. They know what I'm saying right now. That's why they're hitting me with directed energy weapons. I, I so. got a question. Like, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm getting hit with direct energy weapons, but like, I felt like I've targeted for a while. And I just- You're targeted. Like, you're, you're targeted, you're man. Like, you're, yeah. Yeah, like I, I have the weirdest shit happen to me. Like all these electronical, like, not malfunction, but you, like you can tell that someone's like fucking with my phone on purpose, or fucking with my internet, or hacking one of my accounts and like ruining stuff for me, like all the time. And then I feel like they always put me in pain too. So like I just don't talk about it a lot because like you know like when you 
a lot of times when uh, I don't think this, I don't think this, okay? But like a lot of times when you talk about targeted stuff, people think we're crazy and it's not that. It's it's because we're not. It's a real thing. It's a really very real thing. You know, I've had Tommy Edwards on my show. He's a uh, targeted I, I don't know if you saw that show I did with him. He's the uh running back from Virginia Tech. He spoke out against uh, CTE and ever since he spoke out against CTE, he went hard after the colleges. He went he went he was going after the colleges big time. Like and, you know, when you go after something as like Americana as college football, they're going to target you. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was he was yeah. involved in stuff before that. Like he he remembered his grandmother had some kind of weird like military affiliation. And he was in programs young, too. So like he has an interesting story for sure. You know? Mm -hmm. know? Yeah, no, that uh, he's I mean, we're we're all coming together, um, you know, being targeted individuals. You know, you're not the only one there's a community of us, like most of the people in the secret space program, actually all of them are targeted, you know, and that's why you're not the only one. Other people's stuff has been hacked, tampered with. It's hard to believe that there's an organization actually out there uh, that has an operation going on that is watching uh, thousands and millions of people, you know, but it's actually that, that serious, that big. And they especially, uh, they especially have their eyes on um, people that are doing disclosure, people that are in the community, um, people that are speaking out. Um, and, you know, I just I just have my story um, about that, you know, and that's because I'm 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 in my lab. I'm in the secret space program. And um, like um, my story about that is, um, you know, going back to being a child, you um, talented, gifted, um, all that stuff. At six years old, I actually remember my first experience of being abducted. And Who um abducted so, by? Who are you uh, was it the Grays? This uh this is uh Operation Green Star. It's a CIA operation um that's made to fake uh abductions um um because it's a government operation. It's made to make it look like it's an alien abduction, but it's actually the government. Oh so um, I was involved in this at six years old um, because uh, I remember um, what I remember was because um, I'm, I'm having total recall. I, I remember I remember it all. You know, it's not not at all, but I remember enough to explain um, my experience as being a super soldier. So um, at six years old, uh, my first memory came in um, when I was taken. I had a dream. I had a dream because they come in the hypnagogic state. And I had a dream that a hand was coming in and taking me out of the window. You know, it was it was literally taking coming in, taking me out of the window. And um, and then that's when they 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 come in the TR series crafts that are invisible um, the government. You know, because this is the invisible government. They have TR series crafts that are highly advanced, that are invisible, that are actually involved in these kidnapping operations to kidnap talented individuals to groom them to be in the secret space program. Wow. So um, at six years old, um, I remember being my first memory of being taken. Um, it was a, it was actually a screen memory because uh, what really happened was a military uh, uh, agency came in in an advanced craft and took me to a underground base where I actually remember um, experiments being done on me. Um, I remember uh, being on an operating table and there being doctors over me. And um, I remember going through uh, uh, experiments in, 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 in the underground tunnels, like actually being in a room, uh, actually, the room was actually exactly like the room in Stranger Things. You know, um, it was exactly like the room in Stranger Things because that's disclosure. But we were, as children, we were we were all uh, sitting at a table and we were focusing on moving a bowl, doing telekinesis. You know, um, yeah. so that was when I was being taken uh, to the underground um, bases as a child because that was happening uh, periodically throughout my um, childhood years. Like um, I, would be, I would be getting abducted and taken down to deep underground military bases, 
uh, being put implants put in me, doing um, uh, doing uh, training, um, psychic training, all that stuff. Uh, and this was all to groom me uh, for being a super soldier. Wow. Wow. And but but that that was just that was just that 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 me being taken like what was actually happening in my real life. It was even more um, amazing because what would happen was after I was, after I was six years old, like my, my, my grandfather was, uh, he was a, he was a, a highly uh, accomplished engineer and he actually worked on a uh, secret space program, the secret space program. He was involved with uh, uh, working with the star Wars defense initiative, you know, the satellites and the lasers. And um, he, he designed propulsion systems um, he actually was, uh, he has a patent for uh, the the component of a VTOL aircraft, which uh, that's vertical takeoff and landing. Um, so he has, he has the patent for um, the component for a VTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, which is a, a key component of the, of the propulsion of the, uh, the, the secret space program, which was what, what the Nazi paperclip scientists brought over. My grandfather was working on that. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, amazing. and so, so it, I mean, that it's all connected, though, because um, you know, my grandfather was involved in create like the he was a he was an engineer. He was working on lasers, propulsion systems, and um, and robots, um, and. Uh, that that was where the targeting really began for our family because he couldn't talk about anything he was doing because he was working in the secret space program, you know, creating technology. Um, so um, because, you know, it's in the family, it, it runs in the family. And so all of my family are all uh, in, in the program um, because we all have uh, abilities, psychic abilities, which is how they they operate their technology. Is that how they find the craft? Would you say? Yeah. Well, yeah. That that yes, because um, I actually have a memory. Uh, when I first um started waking up to this, I had a memory that I was I was sitting in lotus position, uh, on a craft, and I had an interface over my head, and um, I saw myself sitting in lotus position, uh, piloting this craft like psychically. So um, that is how they operate the technologies and the Nazis, you know, um, or the NAZI, sorry, were the no, that's ones okay. that- I think we can say Nazi. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. They, 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 we can go into that, like so many different topics, but they, they knew about how it was operated. Um, that's why they broke away. Um, and, but I'm just gonna stay, stay on my story. Um, uh, in my life, um, as a six-year-old, uh, I was getting abducted. You know, I was waking up with bloody noses um, periodically throughout my childhood years. You know, um, I would wake up and there would just be blood all over my uh, my pillow. But now that I look back, I know that those were abduction experiences. You know, I, I didn't I didn't know uh, what was happening, um, but uh, that that's what was happening. So. Do you feel like um, you were having um, the genuine alien encounters too, or do you feel like it was just military? Uh, for for well, the the alien, yes, yes, I I did I do 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 have genuine genuine alien encounters because um I will I will get into that. Um, um and, and not, 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 I wasn't like questioning your story. I meant like, did you ever like was it always the government or is it was like, there was aliens involved as well? You know what I mean? Like, like uh, definitely yeah, yeah. Was. Uh, definitely um, um, extraterrestrials. We'll call them extraterrestrials because um, uh, reality is actually not physical. And um, like uh, these are uh, beings from other dimensions, you know, so. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was the, what was happening to me was uh, uh, I was getting abducted as my childhood years, getting turned into a super soldier, getting implanted. They were actually moving people into my life, um, which is called uh, adjust the Adjustment Bureau. 
Um, they, they were, they were moving plants into my life. Like I actually had three brothers that were, uh, training to be in the military pilots, fighter pilots. Um, they, they moved in right next to like right next door to me and my mother. And they were, they were placed there to groom me because, um, they, they would come and and play with the kids in, in the center of the, you know, in the courtyard. And, uh, that was basically to, to get into, uh, you know, my mother, um, found, found obviously one of them, you know, as, as, as a husband. And then that was, that grew me because that got me into the military side of things because they were all training to be, uh, Marine fighter pilots. Wow. Yeah. What did they, did they all end up being becoming pilots or did they? Uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah, they did though. So I can get into that because, um, uh, they, they, they all did become pilots. Um, uh, two of them became, uh, pilots in the, in the Marines. Uh, they're both, uh, majors and one flew a AV-8 B Harrier and one flew a, uh, F-18. Dude, and, your family, your family's got good genes, man. Like you're a professional fighter and your brothers are military pilots. Like that's like, that means you have like, you guys are like, I would say you have like something special going on. for. Yeah, it's the, it, that the family, it, there's definitely something special going on. That's why we're in the secret space program. But um, they, uh, you know, they, they became pilots, but they would always be sending me their patches. You know, I, I was, I was watching them uh go through their flight school you know i was I, they they were giving me um they were giving me simulator games you know to train me and they were actually also taking me up uh to 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 fly planes to land them to take them off to fly planes because um when they were in the university they were in an aviation program and they took me up to fly with all them all the time and this was all all to groom me you know this was all grooming for me because um you know seeing them be in the military i'm I, I, like i'm actually sorry like it's dark you know it's gonna get dark because i don't have any lights because i'm actually in a house um that, uh, I'm, I'm training for a fight right now so it's you know all, yeah it's it's also a big weekend for fights it's uh ufc yeah. 300 this weekend yeah. you know i'm really looking forward to that like that's I'm, a- I'm, I'm, I'm not home right now but um that that's why it's dark i'm in a room that doesn't have lights but um i hope that doesn't affect uh the conversation we no it won't it's fine we got a we got a question from the audience um this is someone who's he's he's a really good person but he's he's a little bit skeptical he says he's he's not he says is zender aware that many ti's suffer from ssp implanted memories what do you think of that do you think it's um oh yeah i do but the thing is is like if you work through uh like if you do the spiritual work to get through it like I have been for the past uh since 2012 is when I woke up so I've been doing like spiritual work to understand my experience for you know so years, I can that's, actually, a long, that's a long time yeah yeah and I wrote a book I wrote a book too um to to explain the so I'm working through all the implanted false memory like and and actually I have a source um from the ACIO Peter the insider that confirms everything that I need confirmed. Um, so, because that, that is part of uh, my story is actually coming to uh, the ACIO and Peter, the insider. Yeah. Yeah. That dude's legit too. He's a, uh, he's, he's a, he's the real guy. I had Jessica Morocco on my show. Uh, his, yeah. uh, his podcast partner or whatever. I mean, she's in, she's in the ACIO, I think too. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Um, but that, that's the thing is like, so I'm, I'm getting groomed as a child, um, you know, um, to be in the military, you know, because I have special abilities, um, and, um, the government has targeted me. And so, um, like they're, they're grooming me, they're manipulating me, you know, they're directing me into certain things. And, um, you know, because I saw, you know, my, uh, uncles, you know, in their dress blues, uh, as Marines. And so that was like, I'm like, oh man, I got to be a Marine. Um, so what happened was um, I went through high school. I, 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 uh, I was uh, a standout again in high school. I was actually a state champion in wrestling, um, you know, went undefeated and stuff. 
Um, and then, and then from there I went into the Marines, I actually went into the Marines, um, and, and, uh, was an infantryman and went to Fallujah and did a combat tour. Wow. Wow. So, um, I actually did that. I actually went in the Marines. I'm actually military, um, was honorably discharged. And, um, I, I actually went in the Marines and, and did the combat tour, um, because of, of the grooming. You know, because they're they're the uh, I'm in the secret space program, but I didn't I didn't know that yet at the time when I was in the Marines, I didn't know that. And what happened was was I got out of the Marines, and uh, when I got out of the Marines, that's when I started to awaken. That's when I started to ask questions. That's when I started to get spiritual, you know, and go down the rabbit hole. And I I literally did I did take the red pill because I did have a dream of my soul family, the Arcturians giving me the red pill because uh, it was it was being acknowledged that I actually was was ready to take it and go down the rabbit hole. You know, um, uh, the, my own personal hero's journey, which is actually part of uh, finding the Holy Grail, um, which I, I, I will go get more into that later um, because that that gets into uh, secret societies. And, um, that that's actually my specialty. I won't talk about that quite yet. I'll talk about that later. Um, I'll, I'll stay on the super soldier topic. Um, but when I got out of the Marines, um, I started, you know, I've always been re- able to remember my dreams. Uh, I've always remembered, but, but I didn't know exactly what was happening. And I understand that I'm, I have access to the Akashic records. So I can access past lives. I can access future. Um, I can I can access parallel realities, and that's what's happening in in dreams, in my dreams. So what's happening is I'm remembering past lives. Like as as a little kid, I'm six years old, and I'm re- I'm remembering past lives of Egypt because I'm drawing you know pharaohs in Egypt all over the place. But I'm having memories of being uh, in in the temples like in the actual pyramids, like being initiated when I'm six years old. I, I have I have actual memories of being in the initiation uh, pyramids, like like being because they are initiation chambers. And I actually remember going through the mystery schools um, in Egypt um, in past lives and going through the initiations in the pyramids and it actually leading to um, there's a, a dark chamber um, that you go into and, and you have to be highly, highly trained because, um, that's what the initiates do in the mystery schools. But I remember being in this dark chamber and then all of a sudden, um, this was a dream I remember having, but it was real. It was cold. It was dark. And then I remember just lighting up. I just lit up my light body, just lit up. And then I just started levitating. I just started levitating. And, um, that was, yeah, that that was what the initiates were being um, taught in in the pyramids. Like um, Jesus um, did it, Apollonius of Tiana, Mary Magdalene, Moses. Like all, there have been a lot of initiates that have gone through um, this initiation in the pyramids. But um, that's actually how I found out I was in the Illuminati as well. The Pythagorean Illuminati was um, when I. Uh, was awakening, you know, I was having memories come back, past lives, I was having secret space program missions come back, which I can get into. Um, but um, these were all coming back. And obviously, I had questions and stuff. And that's when I actually had my Kundalini awakening. Like, have you heard of a Kundalini awakening? I've had one. I've had one. Yeah, I okay. think I had one. I was on shrooms. And it was a, it was an I've taught before on my podcast. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I had one, you know, but I, I mean, and things have been weird since. So it's it's been like, <laughs> uh, you know, it's been really strange, like, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's you connecting to your higher self is what it is. So, um, you know, when mine happened, it happened when I got out of the Marines, and I, I, I was getting real spiritual. And it was a spontaneous awakening. And I basically was just sitting there. And then one day I felt an energy shoot up my spine. It felt like champagne bubbles in the bottom of my spine, but then it shot up my spine, like an electric shock up my spine and out my head and just blew out my head. 
And um, I remember I was sitting right next to somebody and I just stood up and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And uh, he looks at me and he's like, just like, what the hell is going on? But when that happens, it takes you from exoteric to esoteric. You, you, you go from being external to internal. And um, that's, that's, that's what happened to me because after that, um, I had, I had never read anything before, but I started reading everything. I had never meditated uh, before, but I started meditating every single day, you know, and then having like profound experiences when I was meditating, because uh, when I did uh, have my first like, like, like conscious out of body experience um, was when um, I was awakening and I went out to uh, a lake. Uh, a dock on a lake and it was a it was a mystical day um and i just sat there you know um for about 40 minutes and then all of a sudden um in my third eye in the darkness of my mind i see an all the all-seeing eye just as clear as day it just pops up in the all-seeing i'm just seeing the all-seeing eye and then um i focused in on it more and then it just starts blinking like the the eye starts blinking and I'm like, whoa, that, 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 that eye is blinking. And then what happened was um, I had an out-of-body experience where I was just floating over, over the sand, over the desert. And then I, I recognized that I was floating over the desert. And um, there are palm trees and stuff. And then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in a desert with palm trees. And then I look up and then there's the, uh, the Great Pyramid, you know, right there. And then, and then, uh, and then I came to, and, um, that, that was, the uh, the first conscious vision out of body experience that I had. Wow. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Like and, then, and then after that, yeah, everything, everything changed, uh, because after that, um, I, 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 I was having constant memories, recalls, dreams, um, I was having constant uh, government like like involvement, like the government coming up to me, asking me questions, what's going on. Um, like I have whole stories about that because they they knew I was waking up. You know, what I'm saying I was having UFO experiences all the time. I have them all the time um, right now because I'm active. Um, but uh, it's it's uh, like uh, that's what I'm involved in. When you say you're active, what do you, what do you, you think you're still active in the secret space program? On uh, a different yeah. Timeline or something like that? Uh, no, it's in this timeline right now. <laughs> you know, right now it is though, because um, I am, uh, what I am doing is I'm, I'm part of uh, uh, an, uh, a group that is bringing in um, a parallel alternate reality into this one. That's what's happening is the merging of a parallel alternate reality. That's fascinating. Yeah, and I, I like I, I will. How, get... how is that happening? Is that like it's like something with like time travel or CERN or um or or the Looking Glass project or uh, it, I mean, well, it is it is it's through a lot of different things, but um consciousness uh the consciousness shift is is part of that because what's happening right now is uh. The consciousness is getting awoken to the elites, uh, to the elites existence, you know, and that's that's what we've been waiting for, because that's that's the only thing that matters is that the elite are taken down. OK, so there's all this stuff going down, but the rich elite people are the hierarchy that enslaves us. And and they are they are humans. They're, they are humans. And we as a people need to uh gather together and and rise up against them and actually the way to do that is through the pythagorean illuminati and they they actually have been see that's part of the armageddon conspiracy is because um part of the Arm armageddon conspiracy is everybody in the community knows uh the illuminati to be the bad guys okay right is is that not right right am i right yeah yeah you're right that's not right that's not right that is not right that is wrong okay because what is right is um because 
in my own search uh, for the truth, I actually knew, you know, because I've been involved in the sacred societies in the past, and I knew that what I was learning about the Illuminati on the internet was not right. That's misinformation and disinformation. Oh, you know okay, I, mean? I hear what you're saying. Okay, I just, sorry about that. Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's very important that that is understood because until you understand that, you will not be led to the actual Illuminati, the actual Pythagorean Illuminati, who are actually the organization that have been um, opposed against the elite for millennia. They've been responsible for the revolutions of the past, and they are actually the ones behind that want a new world order, which actually is a Star Trek civilization, which is the future. That's what a new world order actually is. Something new, not something old. It's something, it's a new religious paradigm. It's a new economic paradigm. It's a new, it's a new political paradigm. And the enlightened ones actually know all the problems and they know all the answers. And the elite don't want people to know this though, because the Illuminati have the answer for the religious problem. The religious problem is that um, uh, the Abrahamic religions are in control of this earth, which the Abrahamic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Yep. And all of these religions are based on Abraham hearing a voice in his head telling him to kill his son. Okay? And that it, this is celebrated by those religions when they can't really see um, how tyrannical that actually is well I, not just that but i heard the, the the alternate truth on that is that abraham was actually an anunnaki or no no i'm th not an anunnaki his his father tara was a, a priest for the chief deity in the city of or which was enlil so if you believe that the anunnaki came here you know and like maybe you know did stuff with humans like you know like abraham's father was definitely serving that that pre that deity so it, i've heard people say well who is this god of the bible it's it's enlil it's you, you jehovah yahweh enlil the yes, demiurge yeah. you know like it's, yeah, the it's demiurge. and you have you have gnostic thought you you have gnostic thought which is actually the true religion it actually is because this is part of awakening is realizing that um you 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 have realized that so you're free from that you're, you're free from the religious control. There's still people, still billions of people um, that, that still are controlled by that. You know what I'm saying? Because they haven't seen uh, the truth yet, but that actually is inevitable. That is going to happen. And the enlightened ones know this because through dialectical evolution, uh, which means there's a purpose uh, for everything, that means uh, it is going to evolve and people are going to... Um, evolve to the next to the next level which that means abrahamism is going to fall which is happening right now so religiously abrahamism is falling which is judaism islam and christianity yeah and think um, about this you know how many you know how many innocent people died in the name of those religions like it's like the it's, wars like israel palestine right now what's going on it's like it's sickening man and it's always the innocent people that die it's not the governments or the the religious leaders that that, that pay for this it's always the innocence and that's what makes me so mad because those people are just like you and i you know whether they're whether they're on the israeli side or the palestinian side they're just like you and I, you know, they're paying their bills. They're, they have dogs, kids, you know, they, they fight MMA. They, some are police, some are bus drivers, you know, those are the people that are getting hurt, not the elite. You know what I mean? I mean, what do you, what do you yeah. think? No, no, you're, you're right, man. And you need to get mad and we do need to get mad because that's what they've done is they've dumbed us down and, and mind controlled us and stuff. So we don't get mad. And so that we don't rise up, you know, so, cause they're implementing their plan on us. So, it's important that we do get together. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and start to the, the, the community is very important. That's why we need to stay together and gather behind something um, common. That's why I'm bringing the Pythagorean Illuminati into the, into the community, because um, that is, that is, that is the most important, important thing that I have, that, that I have and ever will find because they have the greatest compendium of knowledge that has ever been put together ever because they are, they are a millennia old secret society that is that is always 
stood against the elite that have been responsible for the French Revolution, American Revolution. They're respond. They're going to be responsible for the next revolution that's happening because the next revolution. We need a revolution and we need a new world order. We need something new, and that's part of the Armageddon conspiracy. Is because if as long as people think that the new world order is something bad, they will never have the hope of something that is better. Which actually, a new world order is a Star Trek civilization. It is the future. And actually that is done through the abolishment of uh, the old world order, which is made up of uh, the religious control, which is Abrahamism, which is going to fall. That is going to be replaced by illumination. And illumination is Gnostic. It's the supreme form of Gnosticism, which does say that any soul can become God can actually literally become God, which is the Holy Grail, which is actually contained in the hero's journey. And this is all information from the Pythagorean Illuminati because um, they are the most brilliant uh, uh, organization that there is. And I, it is my mission to, to point people uh, into this direction because it will lead them uh, to the Holy Grail. Like salvation, right? Salvation, like true freedom. freedom. Yes, freedom and liberation. salvation. Liberation, like as in yeah. enlightenment, they say liberation from like uh, samsara, the, the reincarnation is, wheel. Yes, 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 true. And I actually, I, I did find, I did find them. I found the Pythagorean Illuminati, and uh, their site is the Armageddon Conspiracy dot uk, and um, they actually came out in two thousand and twelve. And they came out with who they are, but most people can't get past the the misinformation and disinformation because they've already sig sig like uh, solidified in their head who the Illuminati are. So they will never actually get to the truth that the Illuminati are actually the organization that is fighting against the elite, has fought against the elite, and will continue to fight against the elite. And actually, will be responsible for, for bringing about a Star Trek civilization, a new world order, which is based on um, illumination, illuminism, which is the, the the new religion that says that anyone, any soul, can become God. Um, so, so you're not on uh, on your on your knees to a tyrant God. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like most billions of people are, um, yeah. the the uh, the uh, the the uh, political uh, because de democracy okay well if we want to get into politics democracy has failed us completely it's actually a government for the rich by the rich for the elite you know what I'm saying it's yeah, it's there, not in in my in my mind there's no rights and lefts it's just one it's like the elites versus us you know what I mean that's what I it, think it's it, and yeah. and the it, right it, and left it, is it, just it, to divide us they it's just divide division you know it's like I don't know. Right. It, it is they, true, but and see, that's what we have to come together on. And the Illuminati actually have the answer on this too, because they have the answer for everything. They literally have worked out um, uh, the the um, unified theory of everything. They they've been banned by the Vatican. They were banned by the Vatican. They've been banned by Amazon because they are trying to stop their work from going viral because they know it will change the world. So definitely, people need to be checking this out though because it is going to be taught about in the future because we are going to have the Star Trek civilization. So um, with, with, with that though, the political uh, uh, addressing democracy, democracy uh, is ruled by privilege because um, the rich people have all the positions of power. So democracy has been, um, has been infiltrated in, in, by, by privilege. So what we need to do is we actually need a whole new democracy has failed. So it's time for a new uh, form of government, which actually meritocracy, okay, meritocracy is the new form of government. Um, higher civilizations run their civilizations through this government. And it says that uh, meritocracy is through, through merit people get put in positions, not by privilege. So you don't have people that are passed down money you know what I'm saying? That inherit positions of power, of privilege. It's actually regulated. So pe people of merit are put in the positions of, of power. 
You know what I'm saying? And then so part of being a meritocrat as well is um, wanting 100% inheritance tax because having 100% inheritance tax is the only way that we are going to be able to stop the elite rich people from passing down their wealth and keeping their power in perpetuity and ruling us. So having 100% inheritance tax makes it so we take away their money, which is their power, and then it's put into the government, which is actually a meritocratically ran republic that the best people are in charge of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Right. So that is, it goes way deeper. It goes way deeper than that. Um, but that's just, that. that's the political. And then through the economic, okay, economically, um, the old world order is controlled by free market Zionist capitalism, okay? Um, through free market Zionist capitalism, a small portion of people are able to control all the wealth, which leaves, which leaves us with absolutely nothing. Which is what what we're in, which is what we're in right now. So the solution to that is actually national capitalism and social capitalism, which keeps um, it, it 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 keeps it actually rewards merit. You know what I'm saying? People that achieve high things get paid more. You know what I'm saying? But it, it keeps people from earning, making two hundred fifty million dollars, seventeen trillion dollars. You know what I'm saying? It 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 distributes the wealth out much more evenly in the world. So yeah. these by, by these three facets, uh, this is the new world order. Meritocracy, illumination, and national and social capitalism replacing Abrahamism, um, democracy, and uh, free market Zionist capitalism. Yeah. So, so, th so this is actually what the future looks like, what, what, we're, what we're getting into. And I'm just bringing that in now because that's actually where I'm coming from. Because I've been involved in time travel, you know, and I've been involved in uh, missions, you know, I, I could I could begin to uh, talk about those since you want to do SSP stuff. Yeah, yeah, you could talk about that if you want a little bit. That'd be that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, I will I will do that because I know um, it's all about validating my experience, and I'm I'm telling the truth about everything I'm experiencing. Um, so. You know, one of the first, one of the, like the first memories I had, like, and I had this memory. Um, I had a memory of uh, being on a on a planet. It was advanced, and I was by a like a coastline, and and the um, uh, I was on the shore, and and the the the, the buildings were advanced. You know, what I'm saying is like futuristic, very futuristic looking um, city by the shore. And um, we, we were there and there was an evacuation going on because uh, I was I was there with the team and there were ships landing, evacuating people from the city. And um, what happened was I remember being there um, and uh, basically I remember a huge pink plasma ball coming down from the sky and hitting in, in the ocean. And um, then a huge shock wave comes, and this this thing is like, like Armageddon shock wave comes towards the city, and um, I'm 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 noticing this, and um, I'm 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 in a building in the city, and um, I basically saw the shock wave coming at me. It was destroying the city. I went down, and I just actually just slammed into the ground, slammed as hard as I could, my, my hand into the ground. And then a bubble formed around me, a bubble formed around me. And then there was, it was like this protective bubble and there were these light glints and, and, and time fractures going on all around me. And then um, the, basically everything slowed down around me. It just slowed down. And um, I, I realized that I was stopping time and I was able to, uh, there was um, someone that was there and I was able to jump over them. And then I felt the blast go over me. Um, and then I woke up in my bed and that was, that was, that was a memory recall that I had. Wow. That's you know, fascinating. Yeah. And um, you know, when this was happening, I was getting these memory recalls back like uh, another one 
is that, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I go to sleep and, and then all of a sudden, bam, I wake up and I'm, I'm in the space station. I'm in a space station. And, uh, this space station is, is going down. Like it's getting attacked. And, um, um, I'm basically, I, I run up to this door and there's someone by this door and they, they hit this button on this door and this door opens and I, and I jump in the door and I just shoot down this, um, like this, this slide, this metal slide. And it just, it just pops me into this, um, this cockpit, this bubble, bubble cockpit. It's like a, it's like a, I can see 360 degrees around me, but I have, uh, like this chair that I'm in and I'm in this bubble cockpit fighter. It's a fighter. And, um, and then they just, they just release me out. Um, they just release me and I'm, I'm flying through space. And w- while I'm doing this, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing the grandeur of, of what's around me. Like this space station was so huge that it is, I can't, it was like the size of New York. You know what I'm saying? It was so yeah. big. And there was, there was a serious battle going on when I, when I, when I got released, um, there were, there were ships crashing into the space station. Um, I was, I was in, in, in my fighter and I was just like, I was strafing, I was strafing other ships, just, just like, just strafing them and shoot, shooting, um, just shooting at them. And, um, then, then all of a sudden I, I remember I got hit, I got hit. And then I just remember feeling this, uh, like pain in my stomach. And then, and then I woke up in my bed, <laughs> You know, I woke up in my bed and I, and I felt the pain in my stomach and, uh, I was just like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, that was so real and crazy that I can't deny that that wasn't real. So those, those memories were happening to me and stuff. And, uh, that was when I decided to go into the actual veterans affairs office and, uh, you know, the actual military veterans affairs, because I'm like, dude, this shit is like crazy. What I'm remembering, like what's happening to me. And um, so I went into the veterans affairs office and, you know, they set me up with a psychiatrist and um, I talked to the psychiatrist and he, you know, he, he was he was pretty cool. But he's like, he basically gave me his card. He's like, yeah, if you have any, you know, if you have any questions or you need to talk to me, just call me up. And, uh, you know. I basically was having questions because I was having all these experiences, all these psychic, uh, you know, paranormal experiences were happening to me when I got out of the Marines. And uh, I basically, I did, I called him up and I was like, "Uh, dude, all this shit's happening to me. And he's like, "Uh, you have a gift. He's like, you have a gift is what he said uh, to me. And then um, basically what I did was I went to go see him the next time, um, and then there was a man in in the in the office waiting for me. <laughs> there there was a man um, in the in the waiting room waiting for me, and he uh, he approached me, and he introduced himself, and he was just like, "Hey," he's like, "Yeah, um, you know, I'm Commander such and such from the Navy. You know, I'm just here. You know, I've I've, I've been on a lot of submarines. I've been on a lot of aircraft carriers, and I've seen a lot of stuff. And you know, he was just he was a uh, presenting himself as someone in the military. And um, at the time, I wasn't sure yet about what was happening to me, that I was waking up to being an MK Ultra super soldier. And, but he was, he was testing me and probing me to see how much I was remembering. Um, but so what happened was he, you know, asked me about me and he's like, hey, what, you know, what are you into now? And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm studying the Sigma six degree and, uh, Villanova University is like, oh, that's cool. He's like, come over here for a second. And, you know, we went to this table to talk and he's like, hey, he's like, you know what? You know what's really interesting? He's like, yeah. He's like, you know how easy it would be to get a nuclear bomb in the United States? He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, all you'd have to do is just row it to shore, you know, just get in in a boat and row it to shore. And he's like, he's like, yeah. And, you know, also, you know, if it was up to me. I would, I would assassinate the president of Iran. Um, you know, but that, that, that's all just the tip of the iceberg. And, uh, you know, he was, he was like code talking to me. He was code talking to me, you know, cause he was talking about sensitive missions, you know, sensitive stuff. But, um, I hadn't put together yet 
uh, what that what I what I was involved in, like with being a super soldier, which is like different different um, mo- modalities, like assassination. Um, you know uh, that that's one of the things I'm involved in. And um, you know he was he was testing to see what I remember. But um, he basically, he gave me a card and he's like, hey, I, I heard you're writing a book. He's like, yeah, you should call me, call me up. Uh, we, we should talk about your book, go to dinner and talk about your book. And I'm like, yeah, all right. And uh, and so, but I, I never actually did follow through with calling him. Um, but the same guy actually showed up to one of, like I was going to church at the time and the same guy showed up to one of my church events and he was talking to, somebody that I knew from high school. So he had information, you know what I'm saying about me. And, um, he, he basically, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he sat with me, stayed with me during the thing. He's like, Hey, you need to ride home. You need to ride home. Cause I did. And, uh, we, we talked a whole bunch of military stuff. Um, and then he, he, he dropped me off. And then he's like, that's when he dropped the bomb because he's like, Hey, but you know what I've always been interested in? is, is aliens. And, um, you know, at that time I was not, I was only 25. Uh, so I was still, I, I still wasn't quite awake what was happening to me. Um, but, um, uh, that's when I exited out of the car and never saw that guy again, but that was my government interaction, you know, with being, this is part of being a, a target individual in a my lab. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that sounds about right. I mean, that's that they they do that stuff. It's like they 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 find different ways to groom you or get you excited about being in these programs, right? Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, no, it's true. Um, but you know, that's the thing about my experience is it's it's actually there. You know, everybody's got their own personal experience in this. I have my own personal experience. What I have found out is, you know, obviously I went, once I had all this government involvement and stuff in my life, I actually had black helicopters flying around me all of the time. You know what I'm saying? I noticed the the black helicopter phenomenon became apparent to me. And um, everywhere I went, I was being ha- followed by black helicopters. Didn't matter if I was in the forest, in the middle of the city, you know, in different countries, France, wherever I was being followed by black helicopters. And that actually uh, led me to uh, discover more about the phenomena. And um, that, that's when I did find James Rink. I, I found James Rink, and this was probably about in 2015. Uh, I found James Rink and uh, was brought a little bit more into the community about being a super soldier. Um, and the black helicopter phenomenon, you know, being addressed and explained a little bit more. Um, and then through James Rink is where I met Peter the Insider uh, from the ACIO. And um, when I met Peter the Insider, that's when I knew I had come across the person that I had been waiting to get to, to learn about what, what had been going on. Because he was able to uh, access my files in the ACIO database and uh, get, get a hold of my, 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 my lab files and actually read off. <laughs> um, what I'd had had been involved in, how many planets I had been to, um, who I was actually involved with, which is Kruger, and that I was actually involved in positive things. And when I say positive, I don't mean, hey, you know, everything's all sunshine and rainbows and stuff like that. You know, and we're all skipping through skipping through the tulips. Like when I say positive, I mean taking out bad people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that that is actually what Kruger is involved in. They're one of the positive corporations that are actually fighting against the negative corporations like Monarch, Mobius, Murkoff, Shaw House, uh, Arisaka, Chiron Incorporated. Um, there are more, Taiyang Medical. There are more. These are corporations that are from the parallel reality uh, that is bleeding through into this one. But there are actually positive corporations that are working against them as well, which are corporations like um, Kruger, Kruger, Trinity, uh, Shoreline, Ultimate, um, Cyberlife. Um, and there are uh, uh, others as well. But um, these, these corporations are um, in a parallel reality 
that is actually um, operating like basically from our future. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So what 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 do you think you're doing in the SSP right now? Like, do you think you're like some kind of like captain or colonel or something like that, or do you are you like a, a like an advanced officer, or what do you think's going on? I am, I am, I am, uh, I'm in black ops. Okay. Like I'm in black ops. And when I say that I'm not going to assign a rank to myself because I don't, I, I, we're not, we're not ranked in black ops. If you, okay. if, if, if I can, mm -hmm. because I mean, I can tell you right now, um, I do have memories of talking to high level generals, you know, and high level politicians and stuff like that. Um, I, uh, you know, have one memory of, of being in front of a, of a general and he's telling me, you know, that the space force is, is a part of the air force and that if, you know, no one's going to believe me, like when I talk about what I talk about, you know, here, um, on, on, on surface level, because people aren't, aren't, cannot understand this reality. Because it's, 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 it's actually real. The, the secret space program reality is real. And but that's the actual parallel reality that is bleeding through into this one, which is going to be responsible for our Star Trek future. So we're getting ready to graduate to a type one civilization. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and a uh, type one civilization, I know Michio Kaku talked about those different civil types on Art Bell before. Type one's very, very, very advanced, right? Like they're they can they can basically create their own civilization through um something I can't remember exactly what I, I can't remember how he defined them, but I know type one's like the the like yeah. top of the line, like right, like type type one is is it's up it's you know it's a it's above it's above a type zero, which is what we are at right now. The breakaway is breakaway civilization is 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 high. It's probably like type three, um, to sit, but uh, type one civilization is able to harness the whole energy of the planet. That's what um, I was trying and, to get at. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's that, that's what I was trying to get at. So yeah. we're through through the new world order that is coming in, to, which is a good thing. We are going to be able to unite and then actually harness the, the energy of this planet and graduate into a type one civilization and then have all the technologies. We're going to be able to have them because we're actually spiritually evolved enough because that's what they've that's what we we've been waiting for is to spiritually evolve but we have to go through this process of everything falling failing and you know we have to go through this process to um evolve to be able to uh evolve into the type one civilization which um through the asao database is supposed to be happening um you know we should fully be we should fully be um transition into fifth array density um which which is the new type one civilization by 2032 wow that's pretty dope man that's pretty dope you know but like here's the here's my question do you think we're going to be able to get a complete societal change or do you think that we're going to have to form some kind of alliance and then break off from civilization uh because there may be, just be some people who cannot wake up or or do you think it's going to be a worldwide wide wake up you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah no it's it, it's kind of sensitive to talk about this and how it's going to happen, you know, because that actually can affect the timeline that can affect the timeline. Um, that that's, that's why a lot of the time travel operations and stuff, uh, don't talk about it because it can affect the timeline. Um, but, um, th everything is going to fall, you know, and, uh, people in the U S are going to be disagreeing and fighting. And um, that is going to, uh, you know, cause a new, uh, just um, a new, just wanting of, of something new, of something better, of something more. And then a common uh, consensus reality will be uh, agreed upon that, that we need to have um, a new, a, a new government. And in a new, new, we, we need a re replacement and that just that thought be, is, is going to be what changes things because there's one thing more powerful 
than all the armies in the world. And that is uh, an idea whose time has come. And that is actually uh, a quote by Victor Hugo. But um, enlightenment um, is, it, it's an idea, but all it needs, all that needs to happen is 10% of the world needs to come to the agreement um, of, of one common thing um, for the world to change, which the Pythagorean Illuminati have um, laid out in their, their system um, in, in the over 170 books that they've written. Um, and, and it's time for people to start learning those because it's the only way that we're going to get into the future, into the Pythagorean or in, into the Star Trek civilization. That's fascinating. Wow. That's amazing. Um, I'm trying to, I think of what other questions I have for you. Well, I, I don't really have any other questions. Is there anything else you want to cover before that? Like we might have not talked about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's a lot, but um, the, the one thing I want to definitely make clear is that the enlightened ones, the, the Illuminati, the Pythagorean Illuminati are not bad. That is part of the misdirection of the conspiracy. Like until you, come to that realization, you will not actually be read, led to the actual truth. And, and um, I'm, I'm bringing that, that's, that's the new information that I'm bringing in because I am bringing in a new narrative because according to the community, the Illuminati are the bad guys, but that's actually not the truth because we are the good ones that are actually fighting against the elite that are actually the, the hope, the hope, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Of, 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 a, of a actual world change. Because they actually have the uh, the whole thing laid out, every problem analyzed, every solution given, um, the nature of reality explained, the purpose of existence, the meaning of life, uh, every paranormal thing explained scientifically, metaphysically, mathematically, um, th uh, the theory of uh, everything um, through the God formula, which is Euler's formula. You know, which actually explains uh, the the um, purpose of the universe, which is actually that we are all we are all actually individuals' minds. We are all actually individual minds that that make up a hive mind collective that create reality. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you one hundred percent. Um, and and that's the thing is like that's what I'm saying is like we need to the the, the minds need to wake up because the more minds that wake up, like I know about creating reality because I practice it. You know what I'm saying? But um, we get everybody to start doing this, like like what was happening back in the days of Atlantis and stuff. We are going to uh, be on another level than we're we're at right now. It's uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. And but while we're while we're doing this, I just want to show something real quick, and then we'll come right back. I just want to uh, share my screen. Where is it? I want to wait. Let me see what screen I want to share. I want to show people the full disclosure now conference. Like you, your your sister's actually going to be speaking at. Are you going to come to this? Do you think? Like do do you? Uh, do, uh, yes, I I am coming uh, to that. I am accompanying my si uh, sister there. That's awesome. Um, I'm sharing my screen now. I don't know if it's working. Oh, there we go. It's it's happening slow. So I, I told Brian when I did this tonight that I would help. Uh, I would help uh, promote it. And I, so I just wanted to show you guys. You know, if you look at all the speakers, I mean, we got like a lot of. This is going to be a huge lineup. Penny Bradley, Emmy from uh, uh, Farsight, Carrie Cassidy, Tony Rodriguez, Miles Johnson, Laura Eisenhower, Jessica Jones. I mean, I could go on forever. Arkeem Rod, Daryl James, Matthew Mornian, Susan Long, Drago Reed. I mean, Audrey Walters, Sean Bond, Mario Mahares, my friend Maya. There's me. I'm going to be doing some live streaming stuff, I think, and maybe helping with stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to, it's going to be amazing guys. Like, and it's at the Serata and, 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 uh, in Florida and check out the website. It's full disclosure movement.org. And you know, you'll be able to meet people like Anthony there, you know, and uh, people who are really bringing change to the world. Cause that's what this is all about. This is all about us getting together and bringing change to the world. You know um, mm -hmm. I think so. I think that's the most yeah. important part about me having a platform is like that I can help bring usher in this new era of like, 
whatever it is we're all trying to do you know hey I, man like one thing that is important is uh to realize is we can be hard on ourselves sometimes and actually i can guarantee you you are doing more than you think you're doing you know what I'm saying? You're you're reaching more people. You're making more change than you actually think you're doing. Um, I I can more people should should uh, recognize that, oh, even though it may not seem like it. So, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's uh, sometimes it's a challenge because YouTube shadow bans. You know what I mean? And they censor and they shadow ban. You have to put a lot of stuff on Rumble. It's like you know, it's like. Uh, but it's 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 you know, it's it's fine and it's, you know, it's finding that balance and stuff. It's, it's all, it's all what it is. Like I was inspired by Art Bell, man. You know, I, I talk about this all the time. Like I, uh, I, I loved I used to love the Art Bell show. I used to love listening to mysteries and, you know, hearing about UFOs and aliens and Bigfoot and like all, all the reincarnation past lot. I love it all. You know what I mean? I, I love talking about all of it. It, it really, it's like, it's, it's, it fascinates me. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I love talking about ancient history and, and everything that we just talked about, you know, it's just, it's, 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 it's I could never go back to being a normie. You know, I could never go back to being a normie after like what I've been exposed to. You know, I don't know. Yeah, there, there is no, there is no turning back once you've taken the red pill. But that's, that's good. You know, what I'm saying you wouldn't want to be, believe me. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're on the other side now. Um, and you know, uh, that, that's part of the hero's journey is, uh, you know, you have the world of common day. You're every day nine to five. You know, every day is the monotonous drudgery, the same thing every day. Nothing's changing. And then, um, you get your call to adventure. Uh, you know, there's got to be something more. There's got to be something more than this. Uh, what's more? There, there's got to be something more. And then uh, you either refuse the call or you accept the call. And uh, if you refuse the call, you go back to the world of common day, dream world. Take take the pill, you know, um, go back to your nine to five. But if you uh, accept the call, you then go into the extraordinary world, you know, and actually the best uh, the best example of this is the movie, The Matrix. The enlightened yeah. one, the, the Illuminati actually lay this out. The, the ultimate hero's journey is shown in The Matrix, but we are all actually going through this personally. And, um, you know, once you uh, go in, th this is the path to the Holy Grail. Um, the hero's journey is the path to the Holy Grail. And they show that in the movie, The Matrix. Um, but um, once you're in the extraordinary world, you're in a supernatural world, you don't know uh, much you're in a world that you you didn't know much about but then you meet with mentors you may meet with guides people that are have been in the world that you're now in that can help you out and then um, what you go through is the road of tests and trials uh, you know you you go through just the, everything that's challenging you and gonna be bad like just hard for you but it makes you into who you are and then you uh, you have your atonement with God once, once you, once you reach that point, uh, your own personal, um, road of tests and trials. And then once you have your atonement with God, you receive the reward, you receive whatever it is that you have set out for on this journey, whether it be knowledge, uh, like wealth, uh, love, whatever it is, you'll receive the reward. And then once you receive the reward in the extraordinary world, like for me, it is knowledge. It is definitely knowledge because, I have unlocked some knowledge. So now what I'm doing is I'm bringing back my knowledge that I received in the extraordinary world into the world of common day to give people to be able to get out of, of, of the, of uh, the, the world of common day. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that, that makes all the sense in the world. Cause we're yeah. so we're souls trapped here. You know what I'm saying? And we got to free our souls uh, from the Demarus from, because this is this is a prison planet, and we got to spiritually evolve so we, that we can escape from it. Yeah, we we escape the wheel of samsara, right? You know, right. it's a, it's like it's like it's it's like I don't know, man. It's uh, I think it's very real. You know what I mean? Like the whole prison planet thing, because I feel like um, I don't know how do I say this? Like I feel like I've had many forced incarnations where I, I feel like I've actually lived, I've talked about this before on my show. I feel like I've lived this exact life over and over again. I keep messing up. You know what I mean? Cause I have like weird deja vus. Do you ever get those deja vus where you're just like, I, I know I did that before. 
You know what I mean? And you can't yeah. explain where it came from. I, I think that's from past incarnations, man. I think we've had thousands of incarnations here where it things, is. where shit went, re- went really wrong, you know? And now we have a chance to like, it seems like, it seems like everything's going to start going right for us. Like, but, but yeah. one thing I wanted to talk to you about, Anthony, I don't, you, I know you said you're kind of involved in the community and that's awesome. Like, but have you noticed like the division in our community? Like people are arguing about this and that people are taking sides. People are, um, I, I mean, that's the best way I can put it. You know what I mean? I've noticed it with a lot of my friends that I've met in this community. And uh, I, I feel like that's another divide and conquer tactic. You know, I, I, I that's targeting too. You know, I think the targeting makes people want to argue, you know, um, it put thoughts in people's heads. I mean, what do you, what are you thinking? Have you noticed that? Yeah. Thank you for asking me that question. Um, that's very important to address. Uh, yes, that is happening right now. Um, because, you know, everybody's every, I, I will admit everybody has got a piece of the puzzle, you know, everybody's part of this, but there is a lot of misinformation and disinformation. sowed in the, in, in throughout, you know, and right now, uh, the community is trying to get to the truth, you know what I'm saying? And there's, um, there's people that are, you know, uh, not really telling the truth, full truth, maybe making up stories and stuff. And that's what's causing the dissension. Only the only the real truth is going to stand in the end. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with with me, I've never had problems with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I listen to everybody's story, uh, whatever they have to say. I don't judge or anything like that. But um, it's it's a sensitive it's a sensitive topic, though, uh, because, you know, people are going to have disagreements and stuff on what is going on. But we just have to hear each other out and and not take sides you know i mean people are going to take sides anyway because there this is the 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 age of uh of online cults like it is it actually is because people uh there there are cults out there you know what i'm saying and you have to look out for that so my friend sal she's a she, she says uh psyop that they're hitting us with a psyop what do you think um well it's 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 all it's all a psyop you know what i'm saying but um it's it's really it's really the the information and the disagreement and and misinformation and disinformation that is causing the problem in the community you know yeah. that yeah. that that people can't come to a common agreement which that's why i'm trying to point out the pythagorean illuminati because if you read that you won't be arguing about anything you'll just you'll just know what is up and you won't be arguing about anything trust me I don't know why I haven't heard of this group. Like I get these weird invitations on Facebook to jo- join the Illuminati, but I thought it was all bullshit. I thought it was like scammers trying to get money or whatever. The reason, the reason why you haven't found found them is because you you haven't gone the distance to find them. Most people ha- don't. You know what I'm saying? Most people get caught up in the fake mysteries and don't go all the way to actually understand the the real truth and real mis- mysteries, which is the Pythagorean being um, the uh, enlightened ones that are fighting the elite. You will not hear that anyone anywhere else because no one else has gone that far to understand that. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. I got you. Yeah. And, but I'm, but I'm, I'm, I have, I have, and I'm trying, I'm, my whole mission is to clear that up because that has to be cleared up because people yeah. need to know that the enlightened ones are the ones that are against the elite for sure. Yeah. And, and and but but the, the way that the conspiracy is set up is everybody thinks the Illuminati is the bad guys. What if everybody knew that the Illuminati were the good guys? They would definitely listen to what they had to say and then they would actually get behind them, which is the one thing that the elite do not want. Yeah, because the elite want us divided. You know, they want us arguing. They want us like down, degraded, worried about this and that, you know, worried about our bills, worried about taking care. I mean, like they're putting so much pressure on people just to live nowadays. You know what I mean? The the Pythagorean Illuminati will give you the knowledge to defeat the elite. I can guarantee you that. So if you go to the ArmageddonConspiracy.uk and start reading books, you will defeat the elite. You will get the knowledge that, that you need to learn to free yourself from the elite i can guarantee you that yeah that's interesting wow well this has been fascinating man um do you you have any closing thoughts before we finish up 
Um, uh, man, just, uh, right now it's important to just, uh, hold on and make it through. Um, I've been, I've been made, I've been doing this for a long time now since like 2015. And I've always been, been covering this and saying that we need to make it through these hard times to make it to the end, which will be the future, which will be the Star Trek society. You know what I'm saying? We'll see the, we'll see the advanced technology. We just have to make it through the collapse which is what we're going through right now. But there is light at the end of the tunnel of all this. And that actually is a new world order, which is something new and good, which is going to be a Star Trek society in the future, wow. which is what we're, what we're, what we're getting ready for. Yeah. And which is, which you- is promising and hopeful. Like that's, that's, that's all I've done. My whole um, disclosure uh, career is just like bring hope and promise like you will never hear me yes there are negative things going on yeah there are people there are children getting taken uh you know the underground bases you know uh people getting chopped up it's bad you know what i'm saying but i'm i'm focusing on on the good and the light and um that's what i'm doing yeah i agree, there, I agree. yeah there's there's definitely uh someone that's against um all this darkness that's good. That's good. Yeah. Cause I sometimes wonder that, you know, um, I, it's, uh, cause they, they have us, they, they, sometimes they have us like thinking that we have no hope, you know? Um, uh, yeah. I, the, the, yeah. The Illuminati are the hope and they are the answer. I'm just telling in the you chat. That. I'm just giving you your uh, re- re- feedback from the chat. Uh, the Andromedan says, great show, Rob and everyone. Sal, my friend Sal says, warrior Zender. Well done. Bravo. Random Michelle, Michelle says, good show. Uh, thank you, Anthony, for your testimony. Um, I know Mexico Unexplained is in the chat. He liked it. Uh, Kriya Vine says, fascinating. Angel Wing says, wonderful. Thank you, guys, for all the feedback. That's great. You know. And then uh, Crystal Kelly wants to know the website again real quick. Um, yeah, the website is um, armageddonconspiracy.uk. Okay. And do mm-hmm. you want to give out like your Facebook or anything like that or? Yeah, um, uh, I, I wrote a book. Um, it's called Son of the Morning by Anthony Kaminsky. Um, you can look that up and and uh, you know uh, get that online. Um, I have a I have a website um, www.theimmortalskeep.com, and um, yeah, Facebook is my name, Anthony Zender. Okay, Facebook Anthony Zender book the the immortals keep no the website's the immortals keep and what's the book again uh son of the morning and it's underneath the, the name anthony kaminsky is that under all the is that about all the secret space program stuff or uh yeah secret space program uh secret societies um you know my my uh uh tour in iraq my early life just everything Wow. Get that book guys. And, and can you do me a favor? Can you send me all your links on Facebook and then I'll just, I'll just copy them and paste them in the description and like you link to your book, anything, you know what I mean? And I'll just promote oh, yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Th- thank you. And, and this was awesome, Anthony. I'd love to do it again. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. sounds good. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate the time um, and to talk with you about these topics. Uh, it's uh, very important that we uh, get our voice out as much as we can, um, not only on this platform, but like in person. Um, so we'll just, uh, uh, it's, it's all leading to a revolution. You know what I'm saying? A revolution for our freedom. And we need to get ready for that. And that's, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Like a lot of people are doom and gloom. Uh, you know, everything's going to go to shit, but it, it is but it's going to be a revolution and it's going to be for our freedom. So that's, that's important to keep in, keep in mind. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks man. And I'll be, I'll be in touch and I'll keep in touch. And, and it was really nice meeting you. Yeah. All right, man. Nice all to right. meet you too. Sorry. I'm all darked out. Oh, that's but, uh, okay. I, I like, I like to have, see, I like to show my face cause I don't like to, I like to be honest and truthful. So <laughs> Well, it's okay, man. You know, we'll do, we'll do, we'll, we'll do more in the future. So, you know, you know. Yeah. So, so Sounds cool. good. Sounds good. All right, bro. Take it easy. Thanks.